The following excerpt I'm gonna discuss with you that will be from uh, major 30 all the way to 36. This part contains a lot of right hand technique. We need a separate talking. Uh, when I practice, I find out from even it's the same pattern, like 16 notes of the entire major. But dumbbell, when you play dumbbell, your bow speed and the bow pressure, it will feel a little different than when you play apple. So how can you make your bow very comfortable, smooth? It depends on right now you are consider you're going to use more pressure to bring out the main note or you're going to use more length down there. I find out when I play dumbbell, it seems like a more natural. I can control them better. But when I play apple, my cross string probably bother a little more. So let's try that first from major 30 to 36. To make entire section sound smooth, I need to adjust my bow sometimes to make them a little bit more softer to make that everything even. You will find out certain pattern you can easily play that with firm and loud sound, but not every single one. So for dumbo, I think I will try to vibrato on the high note a little more and try not shifting too soon. For the apple, I will edit an accent on the main note. So for example, major 30, I will do... I will put vibrato on the high B before I shift down. Make them a little more clear. So that's one of the techniques you, you can try to do. Make sure you use your tuner to check every single note that must be in tune. That's very, very challenging. So entire piece, I would suggest you guys really take this part out first. Practice until you secure them. This is the most tired moment when you stretch your muscle a lot and you're probably not able to just stay there for one hour. So when you practice this part first until you feel like, okay, it's a little too much already overwhelm, then you go ahead to jump into the other excerpt. Remember to take it slowly so you are not hurt your muscle.